Good afternoon, people of the grid. This is Miker in the Light Runner, and uh, today is Wednesday, January the 20th, and uh, you are going to join Tammy and I on a date lunch. Uh, I've got uh, an hour. It's going to take us about 20 minutes to get to High River, 20 minutes to get back, and uh, we'll grab some lunch while we're there. But um, I just wanted to uh, record something because I received some uh, information from the interwebs about the charge point charger. Apparently, all of the chargers that I've been so excited about using, the uh, 70 amp as I refer to them, are actually 80 amp chargers and there is a trick to uh, get it to juice up to the uh, full 80 when you're charging at, uh, at those chargers. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're gonna drive out to High River at the PV Mart uh, where we're gonna have part of our date. And uh, it's very romantic, eh, PV? PV Mart? Yeah. Um, anyways, we're going to try out the charger at the High River PV Mart. Apparently there's some text on the chargers, a little sticker that shows you how to get the uh, full 80 amp uh, into the car. So this is uh, kind of an odd one for me because I've spent my entire life telling people to uh, read the manual. Very excited to see if this is indeed true. And uh, together we're going to go learn something. So let's, uh, let's check this out. We are here at date afternoon at the PV Mart with Mike and Tammy. We have picked up our delicious McDonald's date lunch. And I'm just backing in to the charging spot. And we're going to go check this uh, making 80 amps happen thing. There we go. Okay, so I've plugged in like I normally do. And uh, it looks like it's only detecting 69 amps there off of the plug. So we'll let that ramp right up. It's interesting how with the twin chargers, you see how it kind of stopped short of 40? It's almost like it um, it uh, either ramps up the other charger to bring it online or something, but uh, all right, so know. the only thing we have on the box is a start stop button, so I'm going to press it. Start. And the charging light went solid. Let's go see what happened in the car. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right. There's Mr. Pointer Finger. 80 amps we are charging at 79 all i did was press that start button on the front of the charger hello that is amazing welcome back to date lunch and charging at 80 amps so that was amazing all i did was push the little start button on the front which i've never done because when you plug it into the car the car just starts charging so uh you push that little start button on a Sun Country charger and it's going to run up to 80 amps. Sweet. All right, we're going to cut over to date lunch at the PV Mart. It's very romantic. Guys out there, guys, I'm talking to you. You want to take your special girl out for a nice date? The PV Mart charger. Hey, okay. it's not awesome. Look at look at that smile. Puts a smile on a girl's face. The PV Mark All right, charger. three simple steps to getting a Sun Country 100 amp charger to charge you up at 80 amps. So we're parked here and I'm gonna go plug in. All right, so you grab the charger. I've already got my end on it. I just left that there. Plug it into the car. And what it'll do is it'll flash the charging light. That little light right there is flashing. Let's have a quick peek inside the car. So if you don't do anything, it just takes it up to 69 amps by default. So right now, there we go, 34, 35, and then up it goes to the 69. 
Now, once it's doing that, you'll have to, or you could just not get back in, but you just have to go press button the button. To press is this one right here. So when you press that, it just goes solid. And now when you go back to look in the car, you see yourself up at 80 amps. That's it. Three simple steps. Step one, plug in. Step two, press the start button. And uh, actually it's two steps because at that point you're charging at 80 amps. Awesome. Well, we popped into PV Mart, you know, since we were here, bought some uh, batteries for uh, stuff we need at home. And Tammy bought a cookbook or two. And um, yeah, that's the end of date lunch. One last note, one thing we noticed while we were charging, after a few minutes the charger would drop from uh, 80 amps down to 60 amps and we got this message on the console saying charge speed reduced. I tried it twice and it happened uh, both times after a few minutes and then it would continue charging nicely at 60 amps. So I think this is uh, a fault with the uh, charging uh, station so I will let Sun Country and PB Mart know.